Man, it was really, really cool. Dean Winchester put a review on for the place I worked. That's pretty impressive for somebody who doesn't actually exist. This is United A-Holes, a video cast discussing cultural topics with no filter. Welcome back to Area 41. Review, bra. Review. I can't talk. <laughs> I'm dying. It's your big word. Review of the week's favorite spot on the internet. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got around it. Thank you for educating <laughs> me earlier. <laughs> so, first day with the new lips. Bing, 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 bing. I haven't had enough in them today. <laughs> Meet you out back after the episode. We need more cocks. <laughs> what? Keep going. What do you want me to say? Well, sing that little tune you're doing. Oh, I was on ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, bada, bing, bang. And we're struck. <laughs> <laughs> Warner Music got us again. No, they've never got us the first place. They'll never get us. Yeah. Um, so we're talking about Go reviews. Ahead, take all the money we're not making. <laughs> reviews, reviews, reviews. They're everywhere on the internet. That's all the internet is. is they're all true. Right. Yeah, every one of them. Yeah, so. Real solid. Good there's people. a few aspects to this. <laughs> that we could talk about, but there's one in particular that I want to dive into because of an experience that Brent had recently, which you probably already know about because you watched the intro to this video. Um, you had a review from an, a fictional a character, fictional character on, a television on a real company's website about real products, referencing real areas in the real world. Yes. Okay. They, they reviewed where I work and then they reviewed a rival company in this town. And it was Dean Winchester. So that was the first flag. I'm like, yeah, sure, Dean Winchester. Okay, whatever. So I immediately went to, I think this is what people don't realize sometimes is I read the review you left for me or for the place I work. And now I click on your face and I read every review you've ever left. And they made the mistake of saying for the other location that me and my brother Sam well, Sam is the other brother on Supernatural. It's Sam and Dean Winchester. So I was already suspicious, and then that just locked it in. So I was like, all right, well, if that's the game you want to play, I have a way of letting you know. So my response to them was, we have several price ranges, because price point was what they were complaining about, and one starred us. Oh, so it was a negative review. Oh, it was a negative okay. review. I've been oh, in yeah, a they, they, times, they, yeah. overpriced stuff. And I said, we have several price ranges. Castiel was happy with his last purchase and <laughs> walked away. Nice. Let the sales manager know what was going on. He was upset. I'm like, leave it be. They got the message. They're referencing characters from a show. So they know the show. They know that when I throw yeah. out Castiel, because that's the third guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You watch the show, right? Yeah. And somebody else whom I know... Uh, I didn't ask for this. This was done on our behalf. Went to the other places Google mm -hmm. page mm -hmm. and reviewed them as uh, Chuck, who created it all, and called out the person who used Dean Winchester and said, shame on them. Dean Winchester would never shop here. Shame, shame, shame. So called out by me, called out by somebody else. Two days later, it was a five-star glowing review of a wonderful business and a wonderful family in the community. From and the sales manager went, did you see Dean Winter? I'm like, yep, yeah, I made it happen. And he's like, how? I'm like, they got the message that I know that that's a bullshit account. The account's still there, but they changed the review to a five-star and wow. backed everything all out. But my original plan was... Oh, that's what we're going to do? Great, I'll spend Friday night creating account after account after account after account after account. I'll use the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and, and then I'll. Cyberbullet. And then I'll. Fudd. And then I'll. Right, and then Yosemite I'll. Yosemite Sam. But then I'll throw in a Bob Smith and I'll use locations. Like that was my original plan. I went, why would I bother for one review on the internet? Why would I waste that much time, put that much energy into it? It's but why like, would I they? Be bothered. That was the thing. I. It was the 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 opinion at work was it was somebody that worked at that other location that was trying to drop our level, 
Um, or it, someone that works at your location who hates their job. Maybe, and that's just it. It could be. I don't think, uh, let me quickly go through. Nope, 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 nope. Now, there's nobody there that would, uh, yeah, no. And or I it say, was your son to give you topics of conversation. Yeah, for it's like the episodes are getting stale, Dad. I'll yeah. give you something to fucking talk about. <laughs> and, and without mentioning the business, I'll, I'll give some backstory when it becomes my turn on why I, a situation like that would have to happen from them or why it was done. So you think it was... Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because, you know, there was a movie uh, that came out in uh, the 80s with um, Gregory Hines and Billy Crystal called Running Scared. Okay. It's like that movie. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> oh, the point. the title. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well, this business that, that, that did this to you guys. Yeah. Um, opened here. With the mantra, we're here to put everybody out of business and it's going to happen. There won't be any uh, of you no independents, any, any mom and pop locations left within the year. We're going to take you out one at a time because we are the best. Yeah. And guess what? You're still open. We're still open. He's still open. Yeah. They had to get taken over by corporate Yeah. in order for them to still you- be here. I'm so, lo- I was gonna ask if you could write down what the I'm I'm so oh. tra- curious now. Right. They're they're so. next to a store called Heart. I'll uh <laughs> And you would build a building out of these yes. items. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone that doesn't live in this town will have no idea what we're talking about. Anyone who does is like <laughs> every, why don't you just say it? Every subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um so let let's go to this the, the top level of this conversation. How much weight do we put into internet reviews? Well, I'll tell you what I came down to at the end of it. There's the there's a review. So I have a question. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I reviewed your store. And that's and I received a thanks for the review, Ryan. That was from me. That was hand typed. Yes. It's funny because I reviewed 15 locations that day because I was just going through my Google list of everything. I, I and there's four or five that had the exact same thing. Thank you, Ryan. I'm like, I wonder how many of these companies just have an auto responder. No, we we do use Podium, um, but it is up to us as the end user to put that response on. Okay. Right. Yeah. So it's yeah. not just generated. No, no. It, it, there, any responses are typed by myself or two of my coworkers. So yeah, and that was one thing that Podium said. Regardless of what the review is, it is better for you to respond even to a negative one, which was the reason that I responded for starters, because my first thought was I'll just ignore them. And I thought, well, no, Podium wants us to respond, so I'm going to respond, but I'm going to, I'm going to flip it on them and throw another name in from the show right? Yeah. just to be like, you know what you're doing, fucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I do put some stock in online reviews. I've learned over the years I have a rule. I ignore fives and ignore ones. Ones, a lot of the time, are somebody complaining about, like, all, it, something not related uh, to the product. They'll say, yeah. I ordered the product the and thing. they said it would be two weeks and it took five. Yeah. One star. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me anything about the product. I want to know if, the, yeah. did you like the jacket or not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're part of one star, don't you? Yeah, understand? that's right. And fives, sadly, fives are only people who just got said product. Mm-hmm. Yeah are newly happy with their purchase, haven't owned it long enough to have any experience with it, yeah. and are just in the, the, the honeymoon phase of ownership, yeah. no matter what it is. I got a new thing and I'm really happy. I yeah. find fours... New Tool album's yeah, awesome. Yeah, four threes, <laughs> twos are, are usually people that have had it long enough to really evaluate what's going on and are being legitimately honest with the shortcomings of their product. I, I heard somewhere, I think it was on our, on our radio show, that they said that three is the one that you, you should sort them and then go to the threes and read those ones. The three is the most honest. I guess four would probably fall in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the threes are going to tell you why they liked it and why they didn't like it. Right. They're going to be honest with you. And you're not going to see a big rant. You know, I've seen one-star reviews that take up. We're like, 
I, did these people really think somebody's going to read all that? Because it starts off with, first of all, I'm very unhappy. Those are the, usually the ones that do read because they're so hilarious. <laughs> I, I have read them for the comedy content, right. but I put zero stock exactly. into, yeah. into what they're saying. A lot of the, this uh, was two days late, so I refused it. Yeah, yeah. A, well, a lot of the time I put more stock in the quantity. If there are, yeah, yeah, yeah. If there are two reviews and it's four stars, I'm not going to put any stock in that. It's, you know... If there are 12 reviews and it's four stars, then... So my, my, my argument I? against that is the... And I've experienced this numerous times, and I would love to be proven wrong, but my, my assumptions just won't let me. There's a product. It could be a cheap set of filming lights and a green screen. <laughs> and it has 36 reviews, and 24 of the reviews are broken English. Hmm. Most yeah. likely Chinese. Yeah. The company that made the product is most likely Chinese. And the reviews say nothing specific about the product. They say very good, excellent for a purpose, things like that. But doesn't say excellent like the purpose. lights were good or the screen was good. Nothing. It was just excellent for purpose. So somebody typed it into Google you Translate, order, translated please. it, didn't like that, it took that translation, yeah. translated that and put that on. At their desk next to the other person doing the exact same thing. Yeah, right, exactly. And yeah. they pump up their positive reviews to yeah. give you the, the five stars outweigh the fours, the threes, the twos. Oh. And specifically on Amazon, I experienced that a lot, especially on... But we are happy two, with... Yeah, I mean, there, there's issues with it. If I were to review that product today, I would say it's a good value for the money, but, yeah. and I would probably give it a four, right? Yeah. The stands are a there bit we weak. If you over tighten certain things, they'll they'll crush the piping. Yeah. The the screen isn't as big as you would hope it to be. The stands don't extend to an, an appropriate height for an above normal tall motherfucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love the reviews that Best actually... Best Buy Chair. He's, he's literally the biggest asshole. That's true. <laughs> I've heard my title in more than one way. I love... You, you look at a product and it says, this is a very economical, easy to use purchase in like the features on then you go down and read the review and the first review this is a very economical easy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, or like parallel thinking yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, what was it here a while back I think it was a movie or something like that uh, yeah Mulan one of the one of the actors that's portraying right. in, in the movie yeah. she said something about Hong Kong and now everybody's like bashing on on Mulan and you know what I mean and boycotting and stuff I know that's not a, uh, a uh, review or anything like that but I find even with reviews of stuff like there's reviews of movies that haven't even been out yet oh, because yeah. somebody yeah. was pissed off about it's a social stuff. justice attack yeah. and right not, there you go anything yeah. to do with anything. we'll not be attending this we yeah, talked yeah. about that didn't we social justice yes we sure did, did. We did. Yeah, so go back SJW. and watch that one um we might have to talk about it again. It's not yeah, like it went away. It, it didn't go away. We, we didn't, didn't fix cure it. it. We no. didn't fix no. it, right? No, no, not like we did hey, at the movie theater. Hey, we, we, yeah, we fixed things at the movie theater, but that's small yeah. steps, brother. Small we hit steps. those bigger issues again. Just <laughs> yeah, that's right. Keep that's working right. at it. Try gotta, one more time. Some things have to be polished twice. When is my nature gonna kick in? <laughs> <laughs> so, I would argue that reviews are more important and have more of an impact on the business or product receiving it than it does on the customers reviewing it or the customers future purchasing. Getting a one star review on something that you own is much more detrimental. Even if you have 10 five stars and you get one one star, I bet it has more of a weighing impact on, on, on the person that owns that company or product yeah. than than seeing the 10 five stars. Hmm. It's like, why, yeah. why is this person doing this to me? Yeah. Why, what, what's, what's the problem? Nobody, why can't I help you? Who the hell is Dean Winchester? Winchester. <laughs> right. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting stuff. So do you review things regularly? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, it'll come up on my phone and say, how was your trip to such and such a place? But recently we were at a fast food chain. I'm not even going to say their name because I'm still a little pissy about it. And, and they were getting ready to close 10 minutes. <laughs> nope. No, they were wide open. And Urenberger? I was waited on for starters by somebody. I'm fairly certain he was young enough he hadn't had an erection yet. Like, I, he looked That's five. Weird way. balls hasn't dropped yet. Yeah, yeah. Because we all know so that's one age, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was young enough that you know you wouldn't even anyway. That's just my bad joke. That but was anyway, just the first thing I thought of when I saw him. Was, what would you like to have? <laughs> he hadn't quite discovered what a fun sock was for. I doubt it. Um, the order was screwed up, and then screwed up again, and then when they come to the table, it was like, here you go, and it's like, I, I said that I wanted two drinks, you said you only put on one, your manager said just give them the drink, and then you bring the tray to the table, and there's another large cup. So now I've got three, and I only wanted two, but I only paid for one, so I filled that fucker up and took it with me. And I said I wanted a burger and a large fry and a large drink for my wife. And I'll take the value meal that has this, this, and this with a large fry and a drink. And you got one large fry, one drink, two burgers, and six nuggets. So you left a review. No, I actually didn't, and I'll tell you why. I was angry at the time, and I went, if I leave a review right now, I'm going to be pissy and shitty and... Realistically, it's not that big of a deal. So I will calm down, and then I will leave a review. Because I think that's. And in the end, you left with what what you wanted. <laughs> no, because we did not get the second fry. Okay. This is we, what United A holes is for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. I'll. I'll, I'll do I'll, I'll do you leave reviews on. regularly? No. Not just not. I'm just lazy. Okay, that's what it is. Help. Yeah, I just give everything five stars. Good product, like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For You're a that fucker. Yeah. All this time, I thought it was from another country. No, it's all me. <laughs> you just can't type very well. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so, but when I do, I usually go through whatever my most recent list is, and I'll go through a bunch of them and do them all at once. Mostly maps triggered reviews. Yeah. So exactly. it's more of consumption yeah. products. Do you yeah. write reviews or just star review? I usually just star review unless something hit me very specifically sure. and yeah. then I'll write a review. I was going to say, if he says he normally leaves a review, I'm like, well, what the fuck? You didn't leave one for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I was wondering why you didn't ask that too. <laughs> uh, okay. I have an honest answer to that question. Okay. I didn't need to because your wife already left us a review. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so I looked what at did she review? Uh, uh, us. No, but what was her score? Did she give you five? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I never pay attention to <laughs> What did you give him? Four. 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 I know why, why would you give him five? Because, because he's the biggest it asshole. Perfect ex- experience. It was a perfect experience. What I, took away I, when I saw Oh, because you didn't get what he wanted. I knew I knew I got exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And I got so the full price it? I wanted it. So how wasn't it a perfect experience? Because I had to nobody, for it. Nobody bowed down and filleted you when you walked through yeah, the door? Yeah, that would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. He'd have paid, he'd have paid more. <laughs> how many couches do you need, Mr. Mark? I would have played <laughs> there was cleaning a, service at that point. There was a guy in my store the, the other day. The next time he walks through the door, I'm like, Ryan's here. I ain't waiting on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that fucker wants. There was yeah, a guy in here's my... Here's the knee pads. <laughs> There was a guy in my store the other day, and he said, how much is that television? I said, three grand. Three grand! I said, I got one in the other room. That's 14,000. He goes, 14,000? That better come with a fucking blowjob. I said, you buy one from me, and I won't be in <laughs> <laughs> stuck in your dick. <laughs>